So, this is uh, the very first episode of The Roulette of Wings, which is a better asshole name. Which is a better name than the first name, which was Destroying Assholes. Sounds like a terrible porno. I, I should, I should. Because, like, snot is going to come out of, like, my nose. Oh, yeah. So I need, like... It's too bad we don't have, like, a two-fourth person here to zoom in on that. Mm-hmm. We have almond milk. Yes, almond milk. Not real milk. Got yeah, but squirted from the teas of almonds. All right, so we got our twelve o'clock, and then we'll go down to uh, one o'clock. So this is the truff. All right, let's all take a bite. Let's truff hot sauce. Let's eat it. Let's do it. Yeah. This one's actually really good. That's good. That's good. Mmm. Get my lips a little bit, but it's really good. You taste that truffle? You clean that motherfucker. I was born in uh, poverty, so I don't like wasting food. True story, actually. <laughs> Alright, should we do the next one? This one, that one is just like a delicacy wing. That's good. Yeah. Alright. Alright, next one is... The next one here is the Howler Monkey. So... So, so this is all based on uh, scalding levels? Uh, it's like 1,200. Okay. I could actually bring the chart up from the phone. You're going for the milk already? This guy's going for the milk. My lips, man. And he's the one that has the, the triple lips. <laughs> my, my lips, man. Oh, you got chap lips? I have a bad habit of peeling my lips. We're from Utah, so you get chap lips. I don't think I've ever had all of those top. before, and it's pretty fucking good, actually. So yeah, the Howler, actually the Howler Monkey is only six hundred, so this one might be hotter than really. That. Mm. Let's mm. see. Wait, right, we going for number two? Let's do mm-hmm. it. Yeah. This is really good. Oh, this is really good. Oh. I mean, I'm sure they're all really good. Holy shit, mm. dude! Yeah, this is delicioso. This is good. That was a good monkey. Mm. Holy bien. All right, so since we're on the second round, uh, let's go around and uh, talk about, you know, just two things that we truly appreciate in life. Um, you should go. Just start yeah. Off. yeah. Go around. What I appreciate in life. Um, what I appreciate in life is two great things. friends. Two things. Yeah. There. Great friends. And um, ass and titties. Mm. In that order. Well, come together. I mean, like you know, together. Each like fused. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Ass and titties, dick butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ass and titties. Uh, Ass and titties. Uh, all right, two things that you appreciate in life: penis and also dick and balls. Is that, Mom's gonna see this. <laughs> is that is that two things? Or is that like? Is that is that like? Well, penis is the same as dick, and then he's got balls, so. That's two things. That's three things, actually. No, because penis and dick. No, no, because like the balls, there's two of them. There's you gotta appreciate well, the balls left and right. Can I have three? It's one whole thing. The sack, the balls together is one whole. That's true. However, the I balls have is singular. <laughs> yeah, balls, balls is sing- oh no. Why? What? Why? Why you fall down? <clears throat> but like, uh, I met a guy. He only has one testicle, and he brings it up every time. Yeah, he's great. I love that guy. Yeah, no, he is great, but like, I feel like he appreciates one ball. <laughs> anyway, so far, that's two things. All right. Uh, what I appreciate, uh, friends and family. I feel like that's two things, right? Um, or a lot of things. Or a lot of things. I mean, family is a lot of things. Um, or, you know... Uh, I love. I, pre- <laughs> I appreciate that uh, everyone has the opportunity to uh, go out and better themselves and make friends into family. There you go. Boom. All right, the third one. How's your, how's your nose feeling already? It's good. I, I, I'm, I'm not. Good. Yeah. This right. is, I'm this not a good. The third one, one here. <clears throat> it's actually really good. Heartbeat hot sauce, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Ooh. It's red habanero. Oh, nice. Habanero rogue. Okay. Alright, here we go. But it's delicious too. 
Oh, good, good. It is really good. This one's only 4,000. That's, that's really good. I think so far, a truffle one. Truffle one's my favorite so far. I mean, that's yeah. because it wasn't really made to be spicy. I feel spicy. like it was hotter than those two, too. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're getting my lips no matter what, but as far as my mouth goes. Yeah, this poor guy in his lips. <laughs> I've got to go with it, you know. You know, Sean Evans, if you ever watch this, you should um, also consider being sponsored by Burt's Bees. Because <laughs> people out here in Utah, bruh, bruh. Did you put on chapstick today? I did not. No? Uh, That's nothing. You need some chapstick there, bud? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so with... For the, with the third round, let's talk nice. about our three favorite uh, bands. Uh, uh. <laughs> musical, musical people. All right. Uh, It'd be great if we had those mics. I that, know. That one mic. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, this is a tough question. So your uh, your top three, if it, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be your favorite. It can just be like the thing, the top three that's on the top of your head. Uh, I'll, I'll start. Um, I have Nine Inch Nails, The Beatles, and the third would probably have to be Queen because I've been listening to that lately. Uh, damn it, I wish I said, like, uh, the Rat Pack. Uh, <laughs> but it's too late now, right? Anyway. All right, Tom City off the top of my head. Oh, shit. The Contortionist, that's always going to be number one. Yeah. Forever and always. Um, number two. Are you dying? No. Or is it just your lips? It's my only my lips. Stop it's licking my lips. Stop fucking <laughs> licking them. I know. Before before all this, he told us to remind him not to lick them. So. And. He... <laughs> You're not my dad. <laughs> You're gonna fuck yourself too. That's fine. Animals as leaders, and let's throw a heavy band in there. Let's get. Um, Carnifex. Nice. All right, top three. Um, Off the top of your head. Number one, always number one, Nickelback. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Everybody loves Nickelback. You guys can admit it, right? I can admit it. I like I like their songs. Ah uh, yeah. How about that? Got them, boys. <laughs> some, some of their songs, at least at least five. I can't even name those five because they're um, basically the same. <laughs> Listen to he- uh, Post Malone, Heavy. Oh, I do like that. And then fun. another Sorry, band I've been listening to a lot lately is, um, why am I forgetting the name now? Oh, Slaves. The Slaves. I'm going to also uh, throw in As They Lay Dying. I get number four. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right number, number four. four here. This is the uh, Torchbearer's Sauces, um, Son of Zombie Wing Sauce. All right. This is a, um, I think this one actually, we, we jump pretty high. Oh, shit. On the <laughs> scare here. Actually, yeah, so we're going from 4,000 to 24,000 now. That's okay. a leap. That's a leap. That's a leap. That's a leap. That's, that's a leap. It's decent. It's that's not really delicious. smoky flavor. That's delicious. It's like a, kind of like barbecue y. It's definitely spicier than uh, the last one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Choking on a wing. <coughs> That's good. I want to see if I can make it to the end without taking a drink. You're an exception. You've got chat. I have like action moments. I gotta like soak them. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you any crap for that. Well, I will, but I have. <laughs> My mouth is pretty fine, but the lips always get me, dude. Feel bad for making you do this, but I don't. It's oh, dude, I was ready, man. I did that the last time. You were like, yeah, yeah, let's go. No, honestly, just a fun break from recording and like all the technical issues that we're facing right now. You guys are going to be so hot when you go back into the studio. Oh, yeah. So yeah. hot. Because last time I did this, I, I started off, I only had five. I did a, uh, start off with like a Chipotle, then went to Habanero, and then Ghost Pepper, then the first, the Reaper last stab, and then the Triple X. The whole time, so I told myself the whole day, don't peel your fucking lips. <laughs> That's the only thing I did. Okay, so uh, this one we should the question: What do you? What did you? Or what do you? Or what did you? It's almost Christmas. What did you guys want for Christmas? Um. 
I'm not a very materialistic guy. I I like food. I honestly just if someone were to give me food, I love it. I also like whiteboards to write all my ideas down. <laughs> um, I already have uh, everything that I need. Honestly, clothes on my back, roof over my head. Okay, okay, awesome. okay Mr. Wholesome. No, that's, <laughs> I really don't need, like, if someone were to give me something, the rude thing to say is, like, I don't want it. I'm not a very materialistic guy. That sounds, like, self-righteous. So, mm-hmm. I feel like you should accept whatever gift that's given to you. So, uh, I didn't really want anything except for food. So, I wanted lots more hot sauce. I will always grow my collection. Um, new hats, because I wear a hat like every second of my life. Sometimes <laughs> even when I sleep, if I'm wearing a beanie. Um, and uh, what else did I put? I, I made a wish list on Amazon. Excuse me. <laughs> what did I put on there? Oh, I don't know. There's one more thing, maybe. Not that <laughs> hot sauce and new hats. <laughs> I dig it. What I wanted for Christmas was not to get two tickets. <laughs> there Talking you go, to dude. you guys, the police. <laughs> Why hand out tickets right during Christmas? Fuck that. It's Fuck the that. holiday season. I'll let you go. <laughs> here's a warning. Also, here's my wish list <laughs> and my address. <laughs> Actually, it's probably a bad idea for a cop to do that. All right, so right. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, number five. Five is. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're already almost there. Oh, this I'm is ready the for this Black one. Garlic Carolina Reaper. Ooh, what's the? So this one? is quite a jump. It's a big fucking jump, I can imagine. It's seventy-one thousand. Seventy-one thousand. So it's like three times as much as the last wing. It's the bomb. I, I know the bomb is good, because it like that's the only one that I've actually tried and like. It fucked me up. Um, I'll, I'll get to the my, my story of like the first time trying to bomb uh, when we actually get to it. This but, one, this is the one I'm most excited for on the flavor. Oh yeah, for the, sure. Like the, the black, black garlic. garlic. Yeah. First time I heard about black garlic, it was the episode of Bob's Burgers, and uh, it was for that. Was well, black garlic an actual thing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like there's black. It's black. Physically black garlic. I mean, it was on TV, so <laughs> of course it was real. All right. All right. Wow. Oh, it's very like a punch in the face, like in the flavor, like it's very manly flavor. That'll put hair on your chest. Yeah. Woo. I was gonna, I was gonna say it, and then I said it in my head, and I was like, should I say that out loud? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna say it loud, cause you know why? I'm comfortable with my sexuality. <laughs> That's what a man tastes like. Mm-hmm. Boom. Solid. Dig it. Oh, my nose is getting me now. Yep, nose is running a little bit. Mouth is hot. Mouth is hot. Lips are ten times as hot. I'm going through a... Uh, I'm just thinking of like... Shabby thoughts and counting in my head. I'm sweating a little bit. I'm cleaning out my bones, so I'm pretty happy about that. The training's working, so... All right, for this one, do you want to ask a question? Actually, yeah. You want to? Oh shit! Because <laughs> I already had I already had a question for this one, but you All go right. for it. With the black garlic and Carolina Reaper tingling your mouth. Okay. Which feels like a million little crabs, kind of like pinching your mouth. If you Not in the inside. <laughs> Not in the mouth. <laughs> What are your thoughts on today's political climate? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? You guys that last. <laughs> We're throwing um, out the big ones out there. Um, do you want to go first? I just love that recently everybody is like jumping the gun about the impeachment. It's just funny. And then like the very next day everybody's quiet as fuck. Yeah. I get down with that. Yep. Root. Kind of like start on one end and then go on the other. Yep, yep. I can get down with that. Uh, what do you have to say? What? Okay, then we'll go this way. <laughs> um, I asked the question. <laughs> Impeachment is more of a symbolic thing anyway. It. A lot of people thought that he was going to be like out of office 
the next day, and then he just showed up doing his thing. Uh-huh. Um, um, the political climate, um, what I truly hate is that we have a black and white um, <clears throat> like uh, uh, environment right now, and I feel like that's wrong because I feel like it shouldn't just be black and white morality uh, when you want to a lot of want a lot of people want to throw morality in the mix and morality shouldn't be just black and white uh, I feel like what a lot of people should do is not pick sides and just pick what makes sense to you and read about it just don't take all of your information from Facebook uh, actually uh, message your senators uh, I did for sure when it came to uh, net neutrality mm-hmm. And I, f- I feel like a lot of people have a lot to say about politics, but them themselves aren't part of politics. They don't know how to like actually form a, an opinion. Yep. Uh, I saw this. I saw this quote uh, on Reddit. It was uh, some people form their beliefs from evidence, others their evidence from beliefs. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you start you, with a conclusion. Yeah, yeah, you start with a conclusion, and then it, it's not based on any form of hard evidence Mm -hmm. just go out and learn yeah i think definitely was like the best way to put that yeah overall with people being dumb with (laughs) people are being dumb the political climate i think with the start if you start in congress like it is very black and white like nobody was willing to support either side for anything and it's just no nothing can get done because nobody's gonna say yes to anything on the other side and it's pretty much split 50 50 you know and as far as with people I think most people are not educated enough on the subject to have a huge opinion on it. Like, of course, you can have, like, if you know nothing, you could say you like Donald Trump or you like, you know, Hillary Clinton or whatever, but, like, do you know all the inner workings of what happens, what goes on, what they do every day, how things get done enough to know how they're going to react in those situations and to comment on that? Like, sure, you have the freedom to comment on it, but... Are you educated enough that your comment is actually worthwhile? Yeah, exactly. Everyone is a critic, but... Because I like to, you know, I get political arguments on Facebook all the time, but... Yeah, I don't know enough. I still like to delete my Facebook account because I just hated what people had to say, and uh-huh. I have to stand up for... Where I honestly believe everyone has to stand up for what's right, and if you do nothing when there's evil about, you're just as evil. So instead of being a bystander, I choose my. I chose to not be in that environment where there you go. I turned into that toxic person on Facebook. There you go, dude. And when people turn into toxic people, so and now I'm on Reddit and I recently created, created a Twitter. So let's all let's see how that goes. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think Twitter is any better. <laughs> no, I, I've never used Twitter before, only to just to follow like my favorite uh, video game, Borderlands. Two at the time, and then I just didn't follow it. Now it's Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. So that's for you, Daddy. Oh, Elon. Tesla's um, stock market just hit four uh, four twenty. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I shared it with you. Now Elon Musk on Twitter. The first thing I saw was like, <laughs> our stocks are really high right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's all he's been like tweeting about. Uh, should we uh, move on to oh, the bomb? No. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pre pour really Let's good through my lips. Get a nice trying to get cold. to the end of this as fast as possible. Um, um, get a nice cold sit going. This will be the first time I've ever tried the bomb. Let's, uh, <laughs> so since we're about to go into a lot of pain right now, I would love for everyone, before they take into that really painful bite, um, I would love everyone to think about like a really like uh, painful moment that you overcame. Like it doesn't even have to be like, <laughs> you concluded that day, like, you know, Pain is only temporary. That's what I tell myself all the time. That's what I tell you all the time. You're stronger than the pain you're enduring. So think about that pain, and after you're done eating, uh, yeah, just tell about the story. We'll start with you. Uh, but tell us about the Skullvin, the fun facts about this. All right. So this one's uh, 135. So it's on, it's just a little bit less than ha- or twice as much as the black garlic. Sweet. All right. Is everyone ready? I think so. The bomb, all right. I'm scared of this one, actually. I'm really scared of the last one. There it is. Fuck. <laughs> 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 I'm coughing and choking over there. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> it hit me. Yep. It's a sneaker, dude. That's a sneaker. Oh, Skechers. Sneakers. Oh, creeping and sneaking and sneaking and creeping. Oh. I don't think I can clean that one. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, wait. There's a little piece of meat on here. My mouth is bleeding. All right. So, all right. Painful experiences or just talk about hardships that you overcame. Because the best part about being human, we adapt to any situation. And, and we're here today. We're eating. We're having a good time with the boys. And we just ate some of the bomb. There was not enough sauce on your wing. Trust me, I'm going through some pain too. But it's fine. So, let's start with the... Uh, I don't know, a story. I had Carolina Reaper sauce before at the Slackwater Pizza Place. Do they have that there? Mm hmm. Mm. Hey, you asked for the hot sauce, they bring a thing up to you. Really? <clears throat> yeah, that was tough. That's all I can think of right now because everything's hot. I'm crying. Oh, yeah, my nose. I feel it. One time, I did a dab. A real big one. My, my tolerance is really low. I had a smoke to be for like a year. Uh-huh. And... By oh, mind, dab, dab. By okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... I had a really bad experience. And I started puking really bad. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to choke on my puke and I'm going to die. Right? Right. As my friends were dragging me. Into the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And... I was hired for like six hours in the bathroom That's on the floor. Wait, and six hours? Through. Probably more than that, but... Did anyone check on you? Yeah. <sighs> but he's alive. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like, check on you, like, you were in the bathroom, like, no one gave a shit. Oh, the door was open, and they oh, were all okay. just, like, sitting there watching me. And I was like, call 911, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I just sucked myself out, like I'm doing right now. Oh, yeah. So you're stronger than the pain you're enduring. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, motivational quotes there going through my head. I'm proud of lick my lips. My ears hurt. <laughs> Dude, it's only my lips that are burning right now. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, right now it's my nose. I definitely feel it on my nose and <clears throat> my lips for sure. My tongue and um, my throat, uh, not so much. Uh, there's this uh, trick where you're not supposed to uh, really inhale. I'm breathing through my nose. But like the worst part is when your nose stuffs up. Yep. So just little bit by little bit. Um, I've gone through a lot of pain in my life. Um, but one, I just want to tell a funny story. Uh, I've told them this already. But I was getting ready for the gym. And I was at the lobby of my barracks. Um, and yeah, I was, uh, I had this uh, buddy that came up and he had like tears rushing down his face. I mean, there were, it, it looked like he was crying and he had this bottle in his hand. Does he look like Zach right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pouring down my beard. Yeah. Uh, he didn't have a beard. He was clean shaven like everyone had to be. But anyway, so he, he came up to me and his buddy was also like, like, you know, red in the face. Looks like he's been crying. The tears have been dried up because they wiped it off. Um, but uh, my buddy went up to me holding this bottle. He's all like, have you seen that show Hot Ones? You need to try this. And I was like, oh, I love that show. And I just did like a little dab because I was like, I don't want to end up like these guys, right? So I put like a little tiny bit on my tip of my pinky. And I licked it. I was like, that's actually really tasty. It's like soaking. And um, it was it was awful. It was honestly like really, really bad because like it like it was acid on my tongue. And I only dabbed it on one part of my tongue. And then um and then I was like I was like I could do more, so I put like a shit ton, like 
my entire like tip of my pinky, like covered my entire like tip of my pinky. And I put it on my tongue and it was like acid. It was like acid just burning my tongue. And I was like, oh my God. And then that's when it was hitting my gut, like it is right now. Uh, and then um, my buddy texted me and he's like, yo, I'm out front. And so he's picking me up and I went into the car. I was like, I just did some like really spicy hot sauce. And then he's like, why the fuck would you do fucking try some really spicy hot sauce? We're about to do some Zumba. So we went out to the gym. We did some Zumba. And my, my gut was also doing Zumba with me. I thought I was going to throw up or like either shit myself. I had to make a couple trips to the bathroom making sure that I was close and within proximity. Within shitting, like decent shitting and puking distance. But lo and behold, that didn't happen. But my gut was still not liking me the entire time. Uh, so that was my first time trying the bomb. So anyway... Uh, my first time. Zumba and kicked it up a little. Like, huh? Oh yeah, Zumba. My mouth is fine now, but my lips are numb and on fire at the same time. I'm actually better now. I was only like that, like small bit, like after talking. Your lips are swollen. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're they're bad. No, but like my ear is like tingling. Really? Yeah, it's literally it on my lips right now. Whew. It's probably it probably looks like I'm wearing like lipstick now, right? <laughs> All right, yeah. let's uh, let's do this last one. Too yeah, bad, too bad we don't have that uh, that like the last dab. Oh like, yeah, this is gonna fucking suck because it's a little bit more than three times as much. More as than the bomb. three times. Holy shit! What is this? So uh, one one point. The bomb is about thirty-five thousand. Sorry, no, no, no. This is five hundred and fifty fifty thousand. The last one was one thirty-five. This is five hundred and fifty. Five hundred fifty thousand. Okay. So the last dab triple X when I tried it, I was like running around the house. How bad it was, I couldn't take it. The skin on my face Rubbing is tight. It's like, I'm, I'm having it pretty good right now. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Yep. Yeah, there's only one way to find out. All right. So what is this called again? This is the Fiery Fool. The hottest sauce oh, yeah. in the world yeah. without extract. With Without extract. So, Hot One's last dab probably has extracts because it's a redux. Yeah, probably a little bit. What does redux mean? Reduction. Because uh, uh-huh. yeah. you can't just like fun. grind up that pure shit and then yeah. drink it. Yeah. It would kill you. So they've like chemically oh. reduced it. Uh, so on the side here, it's Primo 7 Pot. Oh, it does say caution. This is the hottest all-natural hot sauce in the world. No extracts. My mouth is watering like a fire hose. Whew. So Primo 7 Pot, whatever that is. <clears throat> Carolina Reaper. Trinidad Scorpion. And Ghost Pepper. All that's in there. No extract. Okay. Use caution and enjoy. <laughs> Use caution. And enjoy. And enjoy. So you gotta enjoy this. I mean, like, it's like uh, skydiving, right? You gotta use caution. PPE. And you gotta enjoy it. Because you want free falling. You might as well. All right. Uh, okay, my lips are coming down a little bit now. Cheers. Should we touch our wings together? Are we going to dab it? No. You dab me? You only dab the last dab. Look, her mind's got a little dab from, like, being on the plate. <laughs> so so which sauce is this one again? That's, that's the... I'm just... I'm gonna, I'm, that's going to be my dab. All right. Oh, we can all dab that. That'll be... I'll dab it. Yeah. It's not a dab. It's like a dip. Yep. Fuck. Oh fuck. Yep. Swallow, don't like the lips. <clears throat> yep. All right. I'm waiting for it to hit me. Yeah, I'll hit you. Oh fuck! It's in my teeth. And there she is. It's like we're waiting for the monster of a horror movie. It's right behind me, isn't it? Yep, there it is. That's on my lips. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. I gotta wipe my lips off or something. Oops. It's not that bad yet. The bomb? The bomb kicked my ass. 
Oh yeah, the one cooked my house too. Yeah, I kicked everyone's ass. But I like <clears throat> straight up chewed it a little bit and then I swallowed. This this last one. Mm-hmm. Dude, that one. I didn't. I made sure I did. I uh, didn't right. touch my lips and I just chewed swallow. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> like I could definitely fuck it. It's like it's creeping. It's definitely a slow burner. Definitely gonna take some of those tons though. Um, <laughs> It's, like, um, minute. it's definitely it's get, definitely getting worse. Okay, since this is um, <clears throat> the last day, or sorry, it's not the last. It's the last one. Our last. Yeah, our last one. It's unfortunately. Getting yeah. Um. So, for the last one, since New Year's is upon us, um, Christmas is in a couple days, but New Year's, the New Year, twenty twenty, it's around the corner. Uh, let's go around and uh, talk about not a New Year's resolution. But what you want accomplished in your lifetime. What is like the, the number one thing that you want to do um, in, um, you know, like on, on top of your bucket list? You want to start? Be a successful musician. Okay. I'll get behind that. Nothing else. I think we should make some. It's music. getting worse. Yeah. <clears throat> it's creeping up from my throat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who yeah. Is that? I need to, I need to take a lap. I want to make some better choices. But along with him, I think we should make some great music. Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to build, I want to build a city, that's what I want to do, that's uh, my most ambitious dream, make a, a, an ideal city, maybe not, you know, I can't, it's not my control of uh, control, like creating the, the best um, utopia, because a lot of people have tried, attempted to, um, and failed, by the way, creating a utopia. However, I can probably try and uh, build the tools so that uh, the, the the people inhabiting my city, or our city, their city, they'll be they'll be able to uh, use those tools to better and make better life choices. And um, yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to build a city. That was fun. But the cleanest bones. Uh huh. I feel like I, I do well on hot ones. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm pouring. Hopefully, uh, we get to see you guys again. Hopefully, you get to see us again in the future. Oh in yeah. The future. If we survive. No, we'll survive. No, yeah, those are good. Those are good. Yeah. Flavorful. Yeah. Now, now we have to get like the entire collection, the entire set. <laughs>